Good morning. We're glad you joined us today. We're going to start off by singing, I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. And we did this a year ago, Bible school. Okay, so sing it with us. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. I just keep trusting my Lord and He gives a song. Though the storm comes dark in the sky or the heavenly train. because we need to get some fish. And it's the same thing when we are serving Jesus. We need to fish for men. Today, I brought a stick. Do you know my kids like pet sticks? They collect them all the time. And I like to throw them in the garbage because they get under my feet, but they like sticks. So they let me borrow their pet stick for today. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a sword. Okay, well, I call it a pet stick. Well, today we're going to go for a hike. Hey, did you go a hike this week, Addie? Addie went to camp this week. Did you go for a hike? You didn't go for a hike? No, really. No? Okay. Well, who likes to hike? Who knows what a hike is? A mountain. Well, you could, you could, yeah, that's part of it. Okay. Boys? It's where you go walking on a mountain. It's what, there, see? You yes, were right. Yes. On it. Yeah. So when you go for a walk on a mountain or on a trail, you're going for a hike. Okay. When we go camping, it's nice to go for a hike. What could we see on a hike? We might see animals. We might see a snake. Do you like snakes? We might see a frog. What else might we see, Addie? 
bears. We might say a bear. Rawr. A bear loves to eat scary? you. <laughs> a bear loves to eat you. Yeah, bears would love to eat you. Okay. And if you see a bear, you better run. I go really, really fast. We're going to run if we see a bear. Right? Now, maybe when we should also, when you're in the woods, have you ever just stopped and listened? What noises do you hear? What noises would you hear if you're on a hike? Yes. A bird. <gasps> a bird. What else would you hear? A frog. A frog. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might hear a cricket. Do you hear cars? If you're on a hike in the middle of the woods, you're not going to hear anything. You're going to hear the birds singing. If you're beside the water, you might hear the water rippling. It's all so quiet. It's such a beautiful place. God made us a beautiful world, didn't he? And because of sin, our world has been destroyed. We can stop and also listen to one more thing. Hey, boys, do you know what we also hear in the woods when we're quiet? Where we be here in the woods? Besides the birds? Yeah, the wind. The wind? But if we're really quiet, we might hear God's still, small voice. Have you ever heard God's still, small voice? You haven't? You haven't heard his voice? God wants to talk to you. Did you know that? What do you think God might tell us in his still, small voice? What do you think? You Sometimes when you're quiet and there's no distractions, some of the verses that we have learned in Sunday school, they will come back to you. They might be, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Who has spoken that verse first? Who has said that verse? Have I not? God has given us that promise. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Maybe you've had a problem and you're needing help. God might whisper in your ear, trust me. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. He might also say, I love you, my child. Thou art mine. Do you know that God loves each one of you? And God wants us to be quiet sometimes and listen. Now, you're not always going to be able to go to the woods and get real quiet and not hear any noises but the birds, but God can still speak to you. Maybe when you've gone to bed, listen, maybe God has something he wants to tell you. And remember, God does love each one of you. Okay, let's sing another song. I'll put my whopping stick away. The Fishers of Men. Okay, who has not helped me? Sassy. We already made him do it once. I think we'll leave him alone for this time. Do you want to help me, kid? Okay, you come on up, Chloe, you want to help him? <clears throat> and the rest of us, well, <laughs> I guess he's good. Okay, <laughs> good job, buddy. Okay, I will make you fish your cement. All right, the rest of us want to get our fishing poles. Ready? Wheel them in. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me. If you follow me. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me. If you follow me. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Good job, honey. Thank you. Okay, we'll have our prayer time. And Andrew is here this morning, so he's going to come and pray for us. All right, let's pray. 
Lord, we thank you for this day and for your many blessings to us. We thank you for the summertime where we can enjoy so many wonderful things that are around about us. We think of Susie's walk through the woods and the places of enjoyment that we're able to enjoy and being outside. We thank you, Father, for this, and we ask that you would be with us in all that we do. Keep your hand of protection upon us, and Lord, we ask that you would guide us in our lives as we look to follow after you. We thank you for this. In my name, amen. Okay. Samuel! Samuel! Hmm. I think I heard something. Somebody's calling me. Samuel! Who? Who do you think it was? Samuel was being called. And who do you think was calling Samuel? God was calling Samuel. Well, thinking it was the elderly Eli who he lived with, Samuel jumped out of his bed and he ran down to Samuel. Okay, I need help with my pictures. Chloe, can you put Eli and Samuel sleeping in bed, please? They were sound asleep. So he ran to Eli and he said, Eli, I am here. Eli was sleeping. Do you like being woke up? <laughs> no. No. He went, what? He said, Eli, you called me. That's why I'm here. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back to bed, switched them around. So Eli sent Samuel back to bed. And he thought maybe now Eli or Samuel will sleep because I'm tired and I want to sleep. So Eli and Samuel went back to sleep. And they had no more gotten to sleep. Samuel! Samuel! That is Eli. I know he's calling me. So Samuel got up again and he ran back to Eli and he said, You are calling me. Eli said, No, I'm not. I didn't call you. Go back to bed. Ah, <sighs> so poor Samuel. He went back and he got in his bed again. He said, I'm not that old. I'm sure that Eli called me. But Samuel was obedient and he went back and got into bed. And he just got to sleep and his eyes were shut when Samuel! Samuel! I knew Eli was calling me. And Samuel ran back to Eli again and he said, Eli, you are calling me. I heard you. This is the third time. I know you're calling me. Eli finally realized what was going on. And he said, Samuel, it wasn't me. And who did Zachary say was calling Samuel? You tell me. God was calling Samuel. And Eli said to Samuel, when you are in your bed next time and you hear your name, you say, speak, Lord for your servant here. Samuel said, okay, we'll try that. So Samuel went back to bed and he laid down again. And once again, he heard Samuel, Samuel. And sitting up, Samuel answered according to Eli's instructions. And he said, speak Lord for your servant is listening. And God told Samuel what would happen to Eli's sons they had behaved very wickedly and were not fit to take Eli's place as priests in the temple. Because this is the best time to go to and they would have to be punished. And this was a big secret for a boy. Should I tell Eli? Samuel wondered. When daylight came, Samuel awoke and began his regular duties in the temple. When Eli had heard him moving around, Eli called him. He said, come here, son. I need to talk to you. What was it that God wanted you for? Why was he calling you? Don't hide it from me. So Samuel told Eli everything, hiding nothing. And Eli understood. He knew that the punishment was fair. His words were, he is the Lord. Let him do what is good in his eyes. What would you like to have God call to you as he did to Samuel? What would you do if you heard God call your name? 
What if God called Elizabeth in the middle of the night? What would you do? What about you, Janelle? What would happen if God called Janelle in the middle of the night? What would you do? As you go to bed at night, you might say, as Samuel did, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. He might not answer you as loudly as Samuel, but he talks to us through prayer and through the Holy Spirit and through his word, the Bible. And like I was telling you, when we talk about our hiking, sometimes God will speak to us through scriptures. And sometimes we do wake up in the middle of the night and sometimes we are worried about problems. And you know, in our day and age, it's not just adults that have problems. Kids your age, sometimes they have worries and concerns and God will give you a scripture and a scripture I think is very important for this day and age is fear thou not for I am with thee. So if you kids wake up in the night scared and you're needing help, remember God is with you and he is there and he wants to speak to you in the still small voice. So maybe sometime we should kind of cut the noise out like when we're in the woods and just stop and listen and maybe God will speak to you. Okay, we're going to sing another song. Let's do happiness is the Lord. Okay, who has not helped me? Finger, you want to come help me? Okay. Happiness is the Lord. The rest of us are going to clap our hands, okay? Okay, happiness is the Lord. Go ahead. Okay, let's clap our hands. Happiness is to know the Savior living a life within His favor, having a change in my behavior. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is a new creation, Jesus and me, a close relation, having a part in you. Thank you, Father, for 
We thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next week.